I have never seen such excitement about space since the moon landing. Yesterday's announcement about TRAPPIST-1 and its seven planets has caused quite a stir. As I mentioned in the earlier video, observing a solar system so close to us with so many rocky planets is quite exciting. While finding this many in a habitable zone is amazing, this has actually changed our views about possible alien life. The existence of alien life is no longer possible. It is a sure thing. The Drake Equation has long been a big part of the search for life beyond Earth. But the formula states, quote, the number of planets with detectable signs of life will be based on the number of stars observed. But what we can view now has increased astronomically in just the last few years. Then TRAPPIST-1's discovery changed not only the stars with rocky planets, but also rocky planets in the habitable zone. With these two changes, how can we call the fraction of those planets that can be observed? We not only can observe dim stars in their planets, we can safely say almost every star has rocky planets and planets in habitable zones. If you read how TRAPPIST-1 was discovered, you will find that it states, quote, NASA scientists decided to aim the large Spitzer telescope in that direction. You see, the red dwarf are the most common star types in our galaxy. To find them, now we just need to point the telescope. Like the finding of 1061 Wolf C only 14 light years away, followed by Proxima Centauri B in August 2016. That is an exoplanet in the Goldilocks habitable zone only 4.25 light years away. Like I said, I'm a bit afraid to find out what we will find next. Well, trust me, the last discovery on February 22, 2017 only marked the beginning. In my video released two weeks ago, I called the three rocket planets orbiting Proxima Centauri b a possible match for the 2001 crop circle message which has long been believed to be from our alien neighbors. It was an answer to the SETI Arecibo message sent to space in 1974. That was not a bad assumption, until of course the finding of TRAPPIST-1 yesterday. TRAPPIST-1 appears to have at least seven rocket planets, but the alien senders claim that their system has nine. However, scientists only found the first three, B, C, and D in December 2015. We have since found E, F, G, and H. Will we find more? I don't see why not. Remember, there are 10,000 dwarf planets in our solar system, but we've only found five. Exoplanets are found when scientists observe light dips around the stars, like shown in this picture from space.com. It is exciting for a non-astronomer like me to view these photos, but it's also confusing. If a gap means a light dip and is the indicator of a planet presence, how do they explain these two big dips without a planet? Are those the two gas planets they fail to mention? Since the story is about seven Earth-sized rocky planets, maybe they did not mention what else they found, right? Of course, there may be a simple explanation. And you may say, only a gap with these little dripping dots are likely planets. Well, then how do you explain the E with only gaps? And what if there's a planet with a four-year orbit? Since we only started observing it in December 2015, who knows when the other planets may enter the scene? You may be wondering why finding the other two planets is so important. It is important because in the 2001 Crop Circle Arecibo answer, they stated that they are from a solar system with nine planets and they occupy the third, fourth, and fifth planets. We would have hit bingo if we could find the other two planets. Since the discovery of the first exoplanet in 1992, over 1,000 such distant planets were found by the Kepler Space Telescope by August 2016. And the number is changing by the day. What you learned yesterday may be outdated by the time you get up the next morning. 
The lightweight PSR B1257 has the mass of our moon, while the super heavyweight Dennis P Job 2303 is 28.5 times more massive than Jupiter. Actually, scientists are not sure if it is a planet or a brown dwarf. I guess that tells you how much we should trust NASA. We have the tiny Kepler 37b size like a moon and hat P32, which is 2.5 times the size of Jupiter. Although it takes PSR J1719 1438b only two hours to orbit its sun, it would take 2 mass J2126 8140 1 million years to complete its orbit. Although TRAPPIST 1 shows us how we can have a neighbor so close to us with so many Earth like planets, the record currently held with the most planets goes to HD 10180. It is a Sun like star 127 light years away, and it has nine planets. Of course, I suspect that record will be broken soon, when we have learned more about TRAPPIST 1. Every time I look up to the sky, I see beauty in a mystery that I cannot describe with words. However, I feel proud to have my little space in this vast universe. We, together with everyone in this planet, have survived many challenges in getting to this space age. It is a blessing and also a blast. I'm having a lot of fun. How about you? This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.